Welcome to Slow Home Studio. In today's tutorial, we're going to learn how to use an architectural scale. And in the previous tutorial, John explained the overall concept of scale and how it relates the size of an architectural plan to dimensions in the real world. And today, what we're going to do is we're going to actually learn how to measure uh, things and items in the plan using the scale. And this is an architect scale, and if you don't have one, um, they are available for sale through our Slow Home Studio website, and we will send one to you. They're a very, very handy device, uh, particularly if you're contemplating doing a renovation or a remodel to your home. Um, on this particular scale, there are 12 different scales that relate to different size drawings. So the first thing that you have to do is you have to figure out which of the scales on the ruler you're actually going to use in relation to your drawing. And our drawing is one quarter inch equals one foot. So what that means is that for every quarter inch on our plan, it is equal to one foot in reality. So the very first thing we have to do is to find that scale on the ruler itself. So come in and have a look here. And you'll notice that on the ruler, there are all of these different numbers on the edges. And like I said, there are 12 different scales on this ruler. But if you look onto the ends, you will see what the scale of a particular end of the ruler is. And this one says an eighth, this one says half, this one says one, and this one says one quarter. And our scale of our drawing is one quarter inch equals one foot, so we know that this one quarter is the side of the ruler that we need to use. So that's the very most important thing that you have to do. The second thing is you have to be able to figure out how to use the measurements and the increments on the ruler and relate them to the drawing. So I'm going to show you how to do that. So you're going to have to come in closer, and this is where you have to use your, your eagle eyes because it's very, very small, um, but I'm going to show you. First thing you need to do is you need to find the zero because the zero is where you start to measure from. And you'll notice that on an architect scale, unlike an, a regular ruler, the zero is not at the end. It's actually kind of about a, a centimeter or so in from the end of the ruler. And that's the starting point. So what that means is that everything to the left of the ruler, these lines here, and you see the number two, those are one foot increments. So that's two feet, that's four feet, and that's six feet. These small little half lines represents six inch increments. So everything to the left of the zero reads in one foot increments and six inch increments. So this number here would be five feet. This number here would be four foot six. So that's the first thing. The second thing that you need to know is that everything to the right of the zero represents one inch increments. And this is where you have to have um, supersonic eyes because these marks are extremely small. But each one of those to scale represents an inch. So you can actually measure at a quarter inch scale down to the inch. So that's three inches, six inches, nine inches, and 12 inches. So now that we know that, let's try to measure something in our plan and figure out how big it is. So what we're going to measure is we're going to measure the dining room table because it's a, uh, a good, easy thing to measure because it's a rectangle. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over to the dining room table. And the first thing you need to do is you need to line the zero up perfectly with the edge of the table like that. You can see I've got my zero lined up with the edge of the table. I'm going to measure the long length of the table first. So I'm simply going to count. That's one feet, one feet, one foot, two feet, three feet, four feet, five feet, and six feet. So we know that the table is at least six feet long, but we also know it's a little bit longer than six feet because part of it is hanging off the edge of the six there. So what you do is you then slide the scale so the six lines up perfectly with the edge of the table, and then you count backwards from the zero side to figure out how many inches more than six feet it is, and it's three inches more than six feet, which means the long length of that table is six feet and three inches long. Do you see how that lines up with the edge there? So now let's measure the short edge of the table. So I'll just turn the ruler the other way. Again, first thing you need to do when you're taking a measurement is you need to align the zero with the end that you're measuring. So I've aligned it up, and I'm going to count back one, two, three feet. So I know that the short length of the table is three feet plus a few inches. So to figure out the number of inches, I'm going to slide the ruler down so that the three lines up at the edge of the table and count back, and it's three inches. So the short length of the table is three foot, three inches. 
So that's one thing you can do uh, with the scale ruler. The second thing you can do is you can actually use the scale ruler to draw something on sketch paper to scale and see how it fits on your plan. So I'm going to show you how to do that. And this is where it starts to get really fun and interesting because you can uh, try placing furniture or, or uh, different, uh, different book, different size things uh, into your floor plan. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a piece of sketch paper and I'm going to draw a bookcase and I'm going to see how it fits into my floor plan. And I'm going to draw a bookcase that is six feet long and 12 inches wide because that's a pretty typical dimension for a bookcase. So come in close and I'm going to show you how to do this. I'm going to mark the zero and I'm going to mark the six because that's the length of my bookcase. And I'm simply going to draw a line in my pen between the two of them like that. And you don't have to be perfect. Um, you just have to get the general sense of the scale. And it's 12 inches wide, so I'm going to mark the zero and go back one foot like that. And then I'm just going to hand sketch the other two dimensions and close in my box. So now I've used the scale ruler to draw a bookcase that is six feet long and one foot wide. And now using the sketch paper, I can take that and I can see where I could place that. So for example, in this house, I would be able to place my bookcase um, against that wall in the dining room because I have at least six feet um, in order to place the bookcase and I would still have enough room to walk around to get into the dining room table. So there's a couple ways that you can use a scale ruler uh, to both measure uh, a floor plan as well as to draw an object and try to place it in the floor plan. In the next tutorial, uh, we're going to discuss how to use templates to actually draw furniture and fixtures to scale on your floor plan.